Hello people of the net, what's going on? I am the Matty Boy 2 welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be bringing you a review on the new 5th inform, I believe, Nabi Keita. I did one of the new uh, Team of the Week 29 guarantee SBCs last night, and I managed to pull this guy. I was hoping for either this guy or Ben Teke, and I got very lucky. I know a lot of people have been getting the more uh, crappy Team of the Week players, but... I was lucky from the one I did. I always seem to get lucky in them, actually. Anyway, well, I was hoping for this guy or Benteke. If you would like to see a review on that third inform Benteke, make sure we hit 25 likes. If we're not there yet and uh, you haven't liked the video, go down below. It takes two seconds. You're not losing anything by it, and it benefits me hugely. So thank you very much for that. Anyway, you can see there in four games, he got seven goals and four assists. Uh, the team I was using, I used in the daily knockout tournament and qualified first try. Um, so yeah, the, the team was really good. It felt really good actually. And I think it's what I'm going to go into the weekend league with. Which is surprising because I'm uh, leaving out a lot of my favourite players such as Small in Martial, Player of the Month Sterling, etc. Anyway, fantastic card. Uh, here's the team I was using him in. Briel Mbolo. Is my favourite striker on the game. In all honesty, he is absolutely brilliant. Uh, Pulisic, I packed from a 7.5k pack actually from marquee matchups. I should have sold him when he was 90k. He's about 20k now. Um, so I've missed out on about 70k if I do ever decide to sell him. Um, Peace check I got from the Team of the Week 28 guarantee SBC. He's brilliant as well. Favourite right back in the game. Prefer him to Walker definitely. Um, and yeah, this is a team. So, let's get into the highlights and I will go more in-depth on Nabi Keita. So guys, as we get into the highlights, the first thing you will notice is the runs that Keita makes. He makes some fantastic runs and that might uh, involve getting him behind. A lot of the time, he'll get into the perfect position uh, for the ball. Uh, I may not want to play the ball, but a lot of the time when you pass uh, the ball to Cater, something will happen and uh, he'll be in a good position uh, to create an attack. Even though he does only have 82 uh, attack positioning, it feels a lot higher than that, believe me. Um, his stats are insane. 89 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. He feels rapid. It may just be because he's a uh, short, but his agility and balance are incredibly high as well. So I think that's making him feel faster. 94 agility and 99 balance. They are goddamn unreal. Especially considering a lot of people think they're the two most important stats this year. Now, if, you know, I think they sum up how good uh, how good Cater is in terms of uh, shooting. Plenty of mean cam, you know, you want him to get goals. And I think he got, in the four games that you're going to be seeing, I think he got uh, 11 goal contributions, most of which were goals. Um, he's got 82 attack positioning, like I said. 86 finishing, so he knows how to find the back of the net. 95 shot power, and you can definitely feel that. Even if it's one-on-one -on -one and you go low-driven, it's going to fly into the back of the net. 80 long shots, uh, I didn't try too many but the ones I did, uh, quite a couple hit the crossbar actually, more uh, the keeper save, they weren't they weren't great but they were by no means bad, um, and he's got he's got 68 volleys so just avoid volleys but they don't occur that often anyway, and then 72 penalties but the chances are he's not going to be your main penalty taker, passing he's got 96 vision, some of the through balls he plays are incredible. Just watching back some of the gameplay. Through balls he'll make to Mbolo or Pulisic making the runs. Uh, some of them are unreal. And uh, he's got 99 stamina. That helps a lot. Uh, there's one highlight coming up um, where he's uh, chasing a heavy pass. It, was quite, it, w it wasn't a bad pass, but it wasn't great. Uh, and my opponent's left back is absolutely knackered and Kate can beat him easily to the ball that's where the stamina and pace comes in uh, really really helps
helpful. I've already mentioned his agility and balance. He's got uh, 84 reactions, so uh, not bad, not the best, but by no means bad. 86 ball control, so he's not going to lose the ball that often. And then defending, if you want him uh, to play more of a centre mid role than Cam. Uh, which I wouldn't advise, by the way, with his work rates, but, you know, whatever suits you. He's got 99 interceptions. The amount of times he intercepted uh, my opponent's attempted clearances and we scored from it is unreal. Uh, 52 heading, but he's quite short, so that's to be expected. 70 marking, again, playing in cam, that's not the biggest issue. 86 standing tackle and 81 sliding tackle. So he will get the ball back. Anyway... In terms of uh, my opinion, rating, I've given him a 10 out of 10. He is absolutely brilliant. Uh, on my favourite midfielder I've used so far in this game, he can play centre mid, CDM at a push, cam definitely. Uh, value for money, I've given him an 8.5. He is currently 180k. He may go down. I'd, to, I, I'd happily pay the 180k, but I know that's steep for a lot of people. I'd say that would be a 10 if it was anywhere below 120, 115k. Would I recommend him? Yes, absolutely. I had so much fun with this guy. It was absolutely brilliant. And the enjoyment, I've given him a 9.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed using this card. The only way it could be improved was if his, uh, if his long shots were a bit better. But like I said, I, I didn't try that many. Uh, it could just be the ones that I had weren't great. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, 25 likes and I will review the third in form Christian Benteke. So make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best.